Residents in Lee County had only about an hour before two twisters touched down. The first one was a half mile wide with winds 165 miles an hour. And this is the damage. I am in a bar, what was once a bar. You can see the back wall is completely gone. This building is barely standing. The roof is missing here. There is not a whole lot left here. I'm here with the owner, David McBride. Um, very lucky to be alive. He said he was here when the tornado came through. And David, what was that like? <laughs> it was kind of, it was terrifying. Yes, ma'am. I, I pulled up here. I was actually coming to get a friend's wife's purse out of that room that's gone. and. As I pulled up in my truck, I seen the stuff swirling in the air, and I barely got in front of that store uh, away from the direct wind mm -hmm. before everything blew apart here. And not a whole lot of, of your building left standing, but there is one thing, and you told me you believe this was a sign. If you look up here, um, there's, there's a cross left. You're getting yeah. a little bit emotional. I know this is tough. Tell me the significance of that, David. So we hung that up there when we, when we built the place. And we all stood around in here and our preacher buddy blessed the place. And it's, uh, it's still up there. And I'm lucky to be here. It was terrible. I, yesterday it didn't really affect me like it did this morning. But it'll be all right, I'm lucky. There's 23 people died down the street and I'm happy to be here and I'm praying for them. Yeah, heartbreaking to uh, to see some of those high up pictures that were taken by drones and, and you get a sense of the breadth of this devastation and there we're seeing it now on the air. Give us a sense, Tammy, of what you saw, some of the things that struck you as you were driving in. You know, there are trees down everywhere and the trees that are still standing, there's furniture in the trees. Uh, there are houses that are completely flattened. There are people that are searching for loved ones. Uh, there are people that had no homes to go home to last night. It's devastating. Um, there are people that have lost their businesses, as David. There are people that have lost their homes, and there are people that have lost their loved ones. And this hit with very little warning. So there are people that are starting over without homes, without businesses, and without those that they love. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.